Northern Colorado has won back to back NCAA Division II football championships. And with its high powered offensive attack, the three peak is within reach. But 15 other schools will have a say. We'll reveal the Division II field of 16 coming up next. Welcome to Kansas City, Missouri, and the selection show for the 1998 Division II Football Championship. We're going to select 16 teams today who will try to play their way into the championship of Division II in football in 1998. A very pleasant good afternoon. I'm John Sanders, and coming up in the next half hour, we will unveil the 16 teams. We're glad that you've joined us for that. I know a lot of you are kind of sitting on the edges of your seats waiting to see if you're in or not in for 1998. We'll also talk to the chairman of the selection committee about how this whole process unfurled and how the teams were selected. We'll go bracket by bracket. Of course, the real goal for all of these teams is December the 12th. That's when they want to make that trip for the final all the way to Florence, Alabama. That game is coming up on December the 12th. It'll start at noon central time in Florence, Alabama. Ticket information, you can call 256-764-4661. And if you can't make the trek to Alabama, you can watch it on ESPN2. The Deuce will have it live. It's Eastern time, 1 o'clock. Remember, that's coming up on December 12th. But that's a ways away. We've got to get started with the first round games. Those will be coming up on site at the various schools starting this coming weekend. So the regular season is over. It's time for postseason. Let's begin to take a look at our regions. Starting in the south in the top seed there is Carson Newman College out of Jefferson City, Tennessee. Six times in a row, the Eagles from the South Atlantic Conference have played their way into postseason in NCAA Division II football under coach Ken Sparks. They'll be hosting a first round game on Saturday against the Braves of West Georgia out of the Gulf South Conference. Third trip to the NCAA Division II championships for them. Third time they have appeared in the last four years. First year for their coach, Glenn Spencer, who took over when Charlie Fisher went to North Carolina State. The other half of this region shapes up like this. It's uh, Fort Valley State out of Georgia. The Wildcats in the championships for the third time out of the Southern Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. Coach Kent Schoolfield is in his second year, and the Wildcats are there. They will be playing on the road at Delta State down in Cleveland, Mississippi, the Statesman. And it's a first for Delta State, first time out of the Gulf South Conference under head coach Todd Knight, who is in his sixth season, that the Statesman have made the postseason. And they will be hosting a first-round game coming up on Saturday. We'll look at some highlights from our top seed in that region. This is Carson Newman, and it's... Zach Allen to Jacquez Rump for a touchdown there. Heath Hawkins, part of their powerful running game, number six, breaks it down the sideline and scoots about 60 yards for a score. But the Eagles, in six straight appearances, also do it with their defense. Keep your eye on Brad Hatcher. He not only will get to the quarterback, but try to track down a loose football. That's the defensive side of Carson Newman. Now for Fort Valley State, the quarterback is number one. Renato Solomon, he's just a junior. Excellent touchdown run by him there. They're making their first appearance since 1985, so it's been a while since the Wildcats have been in postseason play. Their defense is fifth in the nation in turnover margin. They have done a terrific job in that area. And again, it's Solomon leading the way, number one. Leading the way for the Wildcats at Fort Valley State. They are in it. And they're ready to play their opening round game. There are the first four teams who have qualified for the NCAA Division II football championships. We'll continue four more schools coming up. Today's 1998 NCAA Division II football selection show is brought to you by Rawlings, official ball for NCAA football championships. The NCAA thanks its corporate partners who dedicate financial resources, talent, and expertise to help emphasize the vital role intercollegiate athletics plays in society and in the overall development of student athletes. The support of higher education by these outstanding corporate citizens also provides funding for NCAA youth programs and NCAA championships. The NCAA and its corporate partners together building a better experience for our student athletes.
It would have been easy to have been a football player and not a student. And conversely, it would have been much easier to have been just a student and left football for some other day and time. But it wouldn't have been as joyous, as rich, as humbling to have been one without the other. So for all of us, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart, not for a single award on a single night, but for the many memorable and molding moments that we have had the privilege to call ourselves student athletes. This is the beautiful hardware that the 16 schools will be hoping to take home when it's all over on December the 12th, the NCAA Division II Football Championship Award. Welcome back once again. I'm John Sanders. We continue now from Kansas City. By moving to the next bracket, it is going to be the Northeast bracket. and talk about the top-ranked team there. Now, there's the top half of this bracket. It's the South, and now we're going to move down to the northeast of Division II for the championship. And our top-seeded team there is Slippery Rock. Yes, the Rock out of Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania. Second time in a row they have been in the field for the NCAA Division II under Coach Dr. George Mihalik. They're out of the Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference. They play in the Western Division. And Dr. Mihalik is in his 11th year. And they are the top-seeded team in the northeast. They will be at home for the opening round game against Grand Valley State. Out of Allendale, Michigan, the Lakers, fifth time they have been in postseason play. They have never won uh, a game in the NCAA Division II Championship Series. So maybe this will be the year the Brian Kelly's club with a 9-2 record gets its first win. Indiana University of Pennsylvania is in. The Indians, 10-1 season for them. As a matter of fact, their only loss this year was to Slippery Rock. And a great matchup between those two schools. Frank Signetti is in his 13th season, and he has the Indians in the Division II postseason. The final team in the Northeast is Shepherd College out of Shepherdstown, West Virginia. The Rams, 9-1, and one. And they are making their very first appearance. They're out of the West Virginia Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. Monty Carter has been their coach for 12 years, and he has his team in postseason for the first time. They will be playing at Indiana of Pennsylvania in the opening round. That's the setup for the Northeast. Let's look at the top team. This is Slippery Rock. They lost their opening game of the season. As a matter of fact, they went to South Florida and lost their first game. But Slippery Rock, the Rockets have rebounded now to roll to 10 consecutive victories. Second time in a row they have been in the postseason. Remember last year, they did win their first round game. They defeated Ashton by a score of 30 to 20. They moved to the quarterfinals and they were defeated by New Haven. So a lot of football tradition. Everybody around the country knows Slippery Rock and they are back and ready to go. Meantime, Indiana of Pennsylvania. Highlights from Lewis Hicks. Making a great catch. A couple of good spin moves for the Indians. As we say, a record of 10 and 1, and that one loss was to Slippery Rock. That's Tink Stennett with a touchdown, number 21. Paul Phelan, who at one time was at Notre Dame as the quarterback. Jason Trotto at the other end of this touchdown play for the Indians, and then defensively, here's the sack for Indiana University of Pennsylvania. They are one of the teams we have announced eight. We have half of our field set to go. We will continue from Kansas City with our selection show brought to you by Rob. its corporate partners who dedicate financial resources, talent, and 